Dream was finally free. For over a year, he'd waited in that cell for a second chance at life. And after Techno broke him out, it seemed like nothing could stop him from taking complete control of the server. But Tommy wasn't ready to give up. For three years, he'd waged war against Dream, and he knew it was finally time to end it. One final battle to take back the world. This is the end of the Dream SMP. Really quick, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I've spent months making this video the best I've ever made. Also, I have tons of crazy ideas I've been saving for after this series and you definitely don't want to miss it. So click that subscribe button and enjoy the end of the dream, SMP. Tommy, Tommy, dreams escaped. What? They don't have long. They're gonna teleport me back. They're gonna teleport Wait, me what back. What do you mean? They, they explain what's happening. What? Techno broke into the prison and he's letting Dream out. Tommy was petrified. Since the beginning of his time on the server, Dream had done everything in his power to control him, make his life miserable. And the only thing keeping him away, setting Tommy free, was the promise that no matter what happened, Dream would remain trapped in his cell for good. But his days of safety were gone. And Tommy knew it was only a matter of time before Dream would attack. He panicked looked for any sense of comfort, any feeling of safety. Immediately, he started to build a wall around his home, the only thing he felt would make him feel protected. After all, it worked for Lemanberg, until it didn't. He needed more, he needed a weapon. And in that moment, he remembered that the only weapon that had managed to kill Dream, the Axe of Peace, remained far away in a place he hadn't been in a very long time. A place filled with pain, loss, dream, exile. As much as he resented it, he knew returning to Logstead was his only chance to take back the Axe of Peace before Dream did. And so, he paused work on his wall and set out, once again, to exile. Nothing had changed since the day he left. Fire still sprung from the wooden poles, the dirt paths lie fresh and unused, and the Christmas tree, from nearly a year before, still sat covered in ornaments. The only thing that had changed was him, most of him, at least. He made his way to the wooden cross. It was there that he buried the Axe of Peace a few months before, hoping to finally rid himself of the pain of war. But war never really seemed to go away. He dug down, quickly finding his chest. But upon opening it, he was shocked to find that everything he'd left that day was gone. He panicked. Who could have taken it? How did they know where to look? He built his way back to the surface, hoping to remember some forgotten memory that would explain it all away. But he remembered Nothing. Nothing but the haunting feeling of dream, staring coldly from across the path. And suddenly, he felt exiled once again. Hey, Tommy. You looking for something? Give me that axe. That's I not have. yours. You can't oh, hold the axe of it peace. It wasn't yours either. Yeah, but I earned it. I earned it by fighting for, for doing the right thing, dream. Something you stand, stand back. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yet. You're meant to be in prison. It's a top secret. Uh, you, you, you're not. Yeah, but I'm out. 
I'm out. I'm, that means I'm meant to be out. I earned it. One of the last times you were here, you killed me just to prove a point. You're, you you haven't earned anything. Stand back, all right? Maybe I've got I'll my shield up. No, no, you won't. And then I'll revive you, and then I'll kill you again, and then I'll revive you, and then I'll kill you again, and then I'll revive you. No, you won't. Again. Hey, Tommy, you want to wanna drop your items in a hole? No, I don't. No! Do? No, I don't. we don't do that anymore, Come Dream, all right? Come on. The last time we saw each other, you, 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 you. <laughs> Tommy, you Quit. could die right now. I'm not, I'm no not going to die right know. now, all right? No one would know. No one would care. Every, dude, people would care, all right? You're not doing this oh, again. You, you're care? getting people's who heads, Dream. Who's you're getting people's heads, all right? Wanna, just go back in. No party, one on this Tommy. server likes you, Dream. This is not the Dream SMP. Maybe I can experience the beach for once in my life. You put me in prison. I rotted in there. I was tortured by Quackity. I'm sure you knew about that. I'm sure you, I'm sure you let it happen. I'm sure you wanted it to happen. Huh? Tommy, I'm going to make every day for you a living hell. On you're this not. Server. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you die. I'm happening. not going to let you die. I can me. bring people back. This isn't why don't you experience maybe maybe uh, maybe a thousand years of the afterlife stuff? Come here, Tommy. Oh, 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 oh Tommy, no, you wanna no, die? No, no. Tommy ran as fast as he could, desperately trying to escape Dream. But no matter what he did, he couldn't get rid of him. Everywhere he went, Dream followed. He yelled at him to stop for his nightmare to end, but it never did. Until Tommy saw a beacon lighting up the sky in the distance. Phil's house. He rushed towards the light. He knew if he could just get to Phil, he would be safe. And so he ran and ran, eventually managing to catch Phil's attention. But by the time he explained what was going on, Dream was nowhere to be seen, gone into the shadows as quickly as he'd arrived. But just because he was gone didn't mean Tommy's fear would go away. He dreaded every second of his existence. It seemed everywhere he went, Dream was two steps behind him. He wanted desperately for this feeling to go away, but he didn't know how to get rid of it. And so, he did the only thing he could bring himself to do. Ask for help. As Phil traveled with Tommy back to his house, he explained that rather than living his life in fear and envy of the past, he should focus on improving his relationships with other people and find purpose in his life. What Dream does is out of his control, but whether or not he lets it get to him is his choice. Tommy appreciated the advice, but couldn't bring himself to just stop being scared. He promised to work on valuing people over possessions, but the fear still consumed him. And so, he continued to build the walls around his home hoping to regain the comfort and courage he felt in the early days of Lamanberg. The next person he asked for advice was Quackity. As the two talked atop the tallest building in the SMP, Quackity explained that fear followed him too. After what he did to Dream, he feared Las Nevadas would be Dream's next major target for revenge. But that living in fear is far more hurtful than anything Dream can do. Quackity advised him to be careful and to protect himself at all costs, but he warned Tommy to never seek out revenge against Dream, as that is when he becomes the most dangerous. Tommy once again thanked him for the advice and headed back to his base to continue work on the wall. On his way back, Tommy was stopped by Sam. Sam was relieved to see Tommy alive, but warned him that no matter what happens, Dream will come after him, and told Tommy to be extremely careful, and to never, under no circumstances, try to find Dream. Tommy hesitated, before thanking Sam for the advice and the spare set of armor he gave him, and got back to work on his wall. Days went by. Dream continued to follow Tommy everywhere in his mind, a creeping thought that never seemed to go away. Tommy knew he couldn't keep living like this. He was miserable, misguided, and couldn't seem to find a purpose. He thought about the advice he was given, but nothing sounded right. He couldn't keep living in fear, but he also couldn't just ignore it. Fear, anxiety. Tommy felt exiled from happiness, locked in a cell of his mind's creation with the one man he feared the most, until he talked to the one person he trusted the most. The man who, since the very beginning, always seemed to know what to do. 
the one person we felt could give him the advice he needed. Wilbur. Since he was given a second chance at life, Wilbur made it his sole goal to make things right with the people he wronged. Everything he did, the betrayal, the neglect, the destruction. His biggest regret in limbo was not being able to change his legacy in the minds of his friends. And so, when he awoke, free from the somber solitude of limbo, he knew he had to make things right. Over the following months, he apologized to everyone, old friends, an old friend, enemies, allies. Some went better than others, but in the end, all that mattered was that he tried. Whether they accepted his apology or not, he had proven to these people that the Wilbur that stood before them was far different than the one that pressed that button all that time ago, and that he had finally changed. And yet, his best friend, Tommy, was still hurting. Sure, Wilbur had caused him some pain in the past, but it wasn't him that had hurt Tommy the most. And he couldn't stand seeing his friends so sad and scared. After Tommy described the horrors Dream had put him through during exile, Wilbur was furious. He realized that if nothing was done, Dream would continue to hold power over Tommy forever. And that his fear would never truly disappear. And so, as a final favor for his best friend, one last adventure, Wilbur devised a plan to stop Dream's control over Tommy once and for all. As he explained the plan, Tommy hesitated. Wilbur's idea was to draw Dream in by setting off the alarm in the prison. Then they would use the discs to threaten Dream into doing what they wanted. But risking the discs, Tommy's most prized possessions felt like a bad idea, and the prison was the last place on the SMP Tommy wanted to be. Wilbur begged Tommy to trust him. All of his plans since the beginning of the server had worked, and he wasn't about to let this be the one to fail. And after thinking it over, Tommy agreed to trust his best friend, and after one last beach party in exile, set out to the prison. Dream, get, get back in jail. Get back in the prison. What do you expect me to say to that? Like, what, what is what is the point? Dream, you may not think that we can just command you to do things, but you don't. But we can. There's only one thing that Dream will actually listen to. Dream, what? I'm gonna need you to do as I say, or I'm going to kill myself with a lava bucket. What? Answer me. You wouldn't. Tommy, you need to understand, the only thing Dream wants is more power over people, alright? He had a power over me when he revived me, and he had power over you with the discs. And he knows that I'm forever in his debt until about 20 minutes ago. I only have a couple of requests. Just a couple, okay? The book I just threw you, is it empty? No. Okay, delete what's in it. Okay. I want you to write this in the book, are you listening? From the very start, Le Manberg was always a sovereign nation. Oh, oh, and so if I don't, you're gonna kill yourself. Yep. And I am a green- Tommy! Tommy! Shush. And Wilbur was a leader through legitimacy. You, th you think this means anything? Me, me writing in a book after however long? It means something to me. And I, Dream, was and always will be a terrorist to Le Manberg. If you don't sign that book and write it legitimately, I'm right clicking this lava, and if you try and put water on it, I'm doing another one. And if you put water on it, I'm doing another one. But Dream, I don't think you have enough water. Once you've done, sign it and give it to Tommy. Don't forget the part about you being a terrorist. Hand me the book, Dream. What Independence. Is... In writing! Good. It's Tommy, keep, keep hold of that. Put that in the ender chest. Tommy, put that in the, the, Tommy, put that in the ender chest, there. Tommy. Yeah. Hey, Dream. 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 Oh, Take congrats. that bucket. I'm not done. I'm going to need you to do this for me. 
destroy the discs. Now. Wilma, what the f Tommy, step the f back or I kill Wilma, myself. Tommy, step back or I kill I myself. Step back Why now. My Place the lava and destroy the discs. What if I what, what if I pocket them? I don't, uh, you have literally 20 seconds. I'm setting a timer now. You have 20 seconds to destroy the disc. If either the timer is set, you want to call my bluff. If either of you interrupt this process, I'm doing it. You have 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, try me. 1, 0. The discs were gone. Tommy screamed in anger at Wilbur. He trusted him. He trusted that he had changed, grown. But no. His selfish desires and misguided notions of freedom still prevailed over the feelings of his friends. He was no different from the day he destroyed Lemanberg. Or so Tommy thought. As the two left the prison and made their way to the community house, Tommy continued to yell at Wilbur, trying to figure out why he would so blatantly betray him. Until Wilbur placed down his ender chest, removed Tommy's discs, and tossed them back to him, just as he'd promised. The discs Wilbur had given Dream were fakes. Tommy was relieved, but he wondered why Wilbur would put him through all the stress of thinking the discs were really gone. Wilbur calmly explained that if Tommy had known they were fake, he would have given it away to Dream and that only because Tommy truly believed the discs were real, did Dream believe it too. And now, Tommy was free from the control of Dream, at least when it came to the discs. And for that, Tommy thanked him. But Wilbur knew that the discs weren't the only thing that gave Dream power over Tommy. A few months would go by before Wilbur would summon Tommy again. But this time, it was clear things were different. They met at the entrance of Las Nevadas. Wandering the empty streets, they reminisced about old memories in the city. Petty conflicts, simple conversations, trivial things. At least now. They made their way to the burger van, a symbol of defiance against the great city that stood beside it. Empty since the day Rambu had died. Wilbur had planned to speak to Quackity, but he was nowhere to be found. And so, he brought Tommy to a small peninsula overlooking the ocean, and said his final goodbye. Tommy was confused, angry, surprised. Where was Wilbur going? What made him feel the need to leave, the need to leave him? Wilbur refused to tell him, as he feared it would only make things worse. But Tommy wouldn't have it. He was broken by Wilbur's words. He had already chosen to leave once, and since he was revived, Tommy was sure he would never have to lose his best friend again. Tommy was furious that after all they'd been through, Wilbur would not just leave, but refuse to even tell him where he planned to go. He felt betrayed all over again, but this time he knew he would never be coming back. Tommy's anger turned to sadness. It became clear nothing he could say or do would convince his friend to stay. And so he asked why. Why, after everything he'd done to hurt Tommy, had he never said sorry? Wilbur paused. Once again, he feared that telling Tommy the truth would hurt more than saying nothing at all. But he knew Tommy would never be satisfied without an answer. He explained, that he was afraid. Afraid that if he said sorry, Tommy wouldn't forgive him. So instead, he decided to help Tommy free himself from Dream. A sort of apology by action. It started to rain, and Wilbur continued. He explained that before he'd arrived at the Dream SMP, he had lived in the American state of Utah. And that one night, during a storm just like this, he had sailed away arriving on this very shore nearly three years ago. Tommy was extremely confused. Wilbur had always hated Americans, and yet it turns out he was one of them all along. Tommy let out a quick laugh, but it was short-lived. As a final gift to Tommy, 
Wilbur gave him his old diary from the days of the revolution. A glimpse into the past, the simpler times. They had come a long way since then. Tommy thanked him for the gift and for always being there for him. And as Wilbur entered his boat, he said goodbye to his partner, his revolutionary, his rebel, his friend, his brother, one last time before setting out to sea to finally return home. Tommy sat in the eye of the storm, alone once again. His entire time on the server, Tommy had been the child, the follower. There was always someone above him. Wilbur, Tubbo, Dream. He always seemed to live in someone else's shadow of power. But with Wilbur gone, there was no one left to lead him. Tommy knew that his days of being a follower ended today, and that if he wanted to be happy again, he needed to face his fears head on. Stand up and fight for freedom once again. He wasn't a child anymore, and he knew there was only one way to truly set himself free. He had to finish what he'd started all that time ago. He had to kill Dream for good. Tommy and Tubbo stood atop Punza's tower. It had been months since the two had seen each other, but they were finally back together. Tommy had invited him to talk, to catch up, and to explain his plan. They began by jumping off the tower, making their way down Prime Path and over to Tommy's house. It was there where Tommy had spent most of his time over the past few months, away from the rest of the server, in a secret meeting room beneath his home. As the two entered the room, Tommy explained why he really invited Tubbo. He needed his help. Three years ago, with their very first battle for the discs, they had started something. And yet, a few months later, on that fateful day at the mountain, Tommy chose to spare Dream. And all of his problems, his fear, his lack of purpose, his sadness, led back to that one choice. But now, Wilbur was gone. The discs were locked away. Dream had nothing to hold against Tommy. And so, he reasoned, now was the perfect time to finish what they started. It was time they killed Dream. Tubbo hesitated. He knew that they wouldn't just be killing Dream for good, but everyone who still lied in limbo. But Tommy explained that there was no other choice. They tried locking him up. He tried ignoring him, tried to move on from the past, but nothing worked. Killing Dream was the only way to make sure nobody got hurt again, that the server could be free. Tommy shared his dreams of a new nation, somewhere peaceful, happy, free. A place far away from tyranny, where Tommy and Tubbo could finally become president together. Tubbo imagined this world alongside him, lost in the dream of a free world. He longed for it. Tubbo knew that with Dream alive, such a place could not exist. And so, he agreed to follow his best friend to the end of the earth. One last time. The two jumped down into Tommy's secret room below. Brewing stands sat filled with invisibility. Makeshift traps covered the floor, and a small potato farm filled the room next door. A small piece of every home he'd ever had. Tommy began by mentioning that he may or may not be addicted to invisibility potions, but that everything was okay because he got some important information about Dream. He explained that for the past two years, he'd spent so much time in the spotlight that it felt good to finally live in the shadows, in his own world, where no one can hurt him. But one day, he was brought back to reality by the deafening sound of explosions. Curious, he followed the sound to see what was going on. And before long, he found himself looking at a decimated Las Nevadas. And running from the ruins of the once great city was none other than Dream. Tommy was angry, 
It seemed that if Dream wasn't ruining his life, he was off ruining someone else's. And because he was invisible, he decided to follow Dream to see where he went. They traveled past the community house, past Tommy's house, until it was clear where he was headed. Tommy stood shocked as he watched Dream enter none other than the prison. Of all the places on the server, Dream chose to live in the same place he had just escaped from. Tommy was horrified, but for the first time ever, he knew where Dream lived. And so he built a small camp in a nearby tree and waited, watching Dream go in and out of the prison over and over again, until he finally had a plan. All they needed to do to kill Dream was prepare armor, weapons, and potions, sneak into the prison, and attack Dream when he least expects it. Only then, Tommy explained, would they have a chance to finally end his reign once and for all. And so, for the rest of the day, the two prepared. Gathering armor, brewing potions, training, until the day of the final battle arrived. And as the morning sun gave color to the dark prison walls, the two took one last breath of fresh air and dove beneath the surface to enter the prison. As they climbed their way into the main entrance, they were met with a very different prison than the one they once knew. Stalagmites hung from the ceiling, vines and leaves covered the walls. The prison felt abandoned. Tommy tried his best to push away the memories, but he couldn't help but remember the last time he tried this. But today was different, and he was a much different man than the last time he walked these halls. And so, the two ventured deeper into the prison. And as they arrived at the open vault door, Tommy noticed something. Standing alone in one of the cells was Dream. Tommy knew this was their only chance to attack, to catch Dream off guard. And so, he nodded at Tubba. And together, the two charged ahead, not an ounce of fear in their minds, ready to reclaim their freedom once again. Get him, Toby! Get him! Holy sh! What? Quit, Toby, quit! Yeah, I know, I know, I know! Make sure, make sure you get your. Make sure you. Okay, wait, how about, how about? Yeah, yeah, I'm all good, I'm all good. He's gapping, he's gapping, he's gotta be low, he's gotta be low. Oh my god. Wait, what? He's gotta be low, he's gotta be low, he's falling, he's, he's falling. Gonna, he's gonna, oh, sorry, oh, he's gonna oh, you. Oh my god, Tommy. Oh, Tommy, he's just gonna really do this, Tommy? Yeah, I wanna fing do this, you bastard. Uh oh. Don't let him get away, follow him with the pearls. Wait, where's he gone? He's pearled somewhere, he's somewhere no, right there. No, no, no. What is that? Wait, what? Okay, oh, Tommy, go in front of Oh, oh god, me. what is going on? Build up, man. The floor, the floor. What? Okay, okay, okay. Go, back, go, 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 go. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, he's on the run though, he's on the run. Did whoa, it work? Whoa, whoa. Go, go, go. Don't fall down there, don't fall down there. I don't think he's up here. I think he is. I'm sure Where I saw his name. Sure. We're gonna be okay. Right? Be okay, okay. Ah, yeah, use it. Whoa, okay! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, whoa. Not this time. Hey, Dream! Okay. Ready, go, 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 go! Go, go, I'm through to him with you. Okay, wait, wait, okay, wait. Okay. He's over there, he's over there, he's over there. There he is, there he is, there he is! Whoa! Papa Shield, his shield's gone, shield's gone! Papa Shield? Oh my god. Oh! Okay, he's down, he's down, he's down! Wait, I don't know. Hell yeah, we do. Wait, he's gonna shoot. Okay, 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 where are you? It's that one now! You've tried this many times, Tommy. This is not a new thing. Crit spam, crit spam. Yeah, 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 just keep spamming crits. He's partly out, he's partly out, follow him. Oh, shoot him, shoot him! I hit him, I hit him. Oh, I'm in there with him! Where, where? Oh my god. Don't forget him. Stop, where is he? I literally. Ah, he's ah, up there, he's up there. Okay, we got him. Okay, we got him. Need to get up in the camera. Drop the shield, drop the shield. Get him. I got him, I got him. I'm still hitting him. He's going to be, he's, he's actually going to be low. He's going to be low. He's going to be low. He's used like. What, where, what the hell? Where did he even come Just from? Just keep landing the crits. Keep following, keep following him. Make sure if he's got shield up, use your axe, use your axe. Okay, I'm hitting him, I'm hitting him. Whoa! Tell me no! Are you okay? Are you okay? okay? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Up above. I'm shooting him. He's in the lava, he's in the lava, I'm Tom. I'm making a jump, I'm making a jump. He's there, Toby. Toby! Okay, he's probably got you, he's, he's probably got me. 
Toby's on me. Toby, he's hugging me. Okay, wait. Stay, stay calm. Just stay calm. Don't panic. Don't panic. I'm on my way. No, 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 no. Not today. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, my God. Wait. Okay, wait. Wait, wait. Okay. He's above me. He's above me. He's got arrows. Tom, I need your help. I'm coming. I'm coming. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. We can still do this. We can still do this. Are you sure? Are you sure? Toby, are you taking hits? Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just. I don't think I can do this for much longer, man. Okay, I'm going to Look out, look out. Look at Toby, look. We need to rethink, we need to rethink. What? He's got more strength than us. Look at me, what do we do? Tom, you just locked us in the cell. Toby. Oh, wait, where are we? Once again. Tommy was trapped in the main cell. Dream was too powerful. They had almost used all of their potions, and Tommy knew that on the other side of that wall lied certain death. TNT shook the cell as it exploded above them, a constant reminder that they were living on borrowed time. They were running out of options. They needed to find a way to kill Dream quick or they wouldn't make it out alive. Tommy began to panic. So many terrible things happened in this cell, and it seemed like history was repeating itself. But this time was different. This time, he had Tubbo. While Tommy was panicking, Tubbo had managed to build up and grab a handful of harming potions from the dispenser above the cell. This was their chance. If they could draw Dream inside, the two of them could throw the potions, doing enough damage to kill Dream in seconds. Running out of options, Tommy agreed, and together, they prepared for the final stand. Okay, get ready, get ready! Killing is clear! I'm getting low, I'm getting low! They had finally done it. After years of manipulation, loss, and terror, Dream's cruel reign over the server was finally over. Together, Tommy and Tubbo had managed to do the impossible and kill Dream for the last time. As they made their way back outside, they thought about what they had just done. A new era was about to begin, an era of peace and freedom. The dream Lamanberg stood for was finally coming true and it would all begin the next day with their new nation. Tommy and Tubbo set out immediately to spread the news. They told Bad Boy Halo, who was glad he finally didn't need to worry about having a prison directly next to his house. They told Sam, who was relieved that finally his duties as a prison warden were over and the server was finally free from Dream. They even recommended he run for vice president of their new nation. And finally, they told Puns, who was surprised they actually managed to overpower Dream. In light of their victory, Puns decided to give them a sneak peek at a project he'd been working on that would be perfect for their new nation. Excited, Tommy and Tubbo followed Puns around the back of his house to a somewhat hidden staircase. As they made their way down, they couldn't help but notice that this whole situation felt eerily similar to one they'd been in before but Puns assured them that there was nothing to be worried about. Still slightly concerned, Tommy asked Puns to tell him what was down there. No response. Now, Tommy was worried. He decided just to make sure he would mine into the wall to check for a trap. And after mining one block, he realized this was no project. This was a betrayal. Tommy demanded Puns tell them exactly what was going on. And knowing there was no point in hiding it anymore, Puns pulled out a book. And right away, Tommy and Tubbo knew exactly what was about to happen. Tommy begged Puns not to do it, but there was no stopping him. Puns made his way to the secret room at the end of the tunnel before doing the unthinkable. Tommy and Tubbo ran 
for their lives. They had barely been able to take out Dream by himself, and they knew that with puns on his side, they didn't stand a chance. They were devastated. The promise of a greater future, a free server, was gone in seconds. And puns, the very person who betrayed Dream to lock him in prison, had freedom from the eternal solitude of Limbo. Hopeless once again, Tommy and Tubbo fled to the top of the tower outside Tommy's house, desperately trying to put any amount of distance between them and Dream. But it was no use, and as Dream and Puns reached the top of the tower, there was nothing more they could do but surrender. Dream and Puns escorted them back to the prison. But this time, there was nothing they could do to fight back. Dream ordered them to drop everything they had. Tommy begged him not to do this, but it was too late. As he handed over everything he had, Tommy thought back to that day on the mountain. If Puns hadn't shown up to save them, Tubbo would be dead. But this time, there would be no Puns on their side. They had really lost. Dream placed down an ender chest, demanding they hand over everything they have inside for him to burn. Having no other choice, the two gave up everything. Almost everything. Tommy stared at his discs. He couldn't bring himself to hand them over. But then he remembered. Dream thought the discs were destroyed meaning if Tommy secretly kept them, Dream would have no way of knowing. And so, just like the early days, all Tommy had were his discs and his best friend. In the face of pure evil, Dream and Puns led them to a new part of the prison, one designed specifically for them. And after opening an entrance to the cell, Dream and Puns forced them inside. Uh... <gasps> what the f Hey, Toby. It's fine. Look at me. This look at fine. me now, alright? I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. We're fine. We're We've not had worse hosts than yet. this, alright? I'm yeah. Toby, I'm sorry I got you to come back in here and kill Dream. I'm it's sorry. Fine. I'm it's sorry fine. I dragged it's you down fine. with me. It's completely but I won't fine, let them man. take you, alright? I won't this let- This is so cute. We shouldn't interrupt them. Shut They're the fuck up, Dream! <laughs> I don't have anything to say to you, Dream. I have a lot to say to you. I hadn't bothered you for months and then you were like hey i'm gonna come and break into your house in the middle of the night and, and kill you and you know i'd be dead right now if it wasn't for puns but i'm the bad guy we need to live our live stream and you stop that because every time that we've tried to do anything right you've made it your own you've been selfish you've, you've destroyed my life man so the one time we come in to attack you the one time we won puns why'd you do it I was never on your side, Tommy. Well, as soon as the server started turning against me, we were we could stand up and me and puns together. We could fight against the server. Maybe we'd win, but maybe we'd lose. And if we lost, we'd be dead forever. But if everyone thinks that puns is on the opposite end, who would suspect the person that caused me to be locked up in the prison? No one, no one would think that. Why not just kill us right now? Is that not what you wanted all along? I want one thing i want to understand okay i i, I want to know i want to know what is power what is it what is this world what are we living in how are you here how am Stand i back. here what happens when you die i don't you know, know. that's the beauty of things okay what not knowing is beautiful i think knowing is beautiful part of that is power because i do want to live forever the, se the separation from us to you in terms of our knowledge and our power and what we have and what we know, we might as well be a god. Death has such importance on the server. I said we made mistakes. By all these revivals and all this death, there's, there's been, we created an imbalance. It's not looking good at all. The world could very well just, just end if we don't kill people. But the problem- What does that mean? The problem is if we kill some people, then everyone else, comes against us and tries to force us to revive them and tries to, you know, kill us. So, we have to kill everyone. You can't do this. You have to stop now. The world's up. We've 
fucked up. Explain everyone, it to everyone, us. Everyone fucked up. Everyone, there's too much death, too much destruction. Everyone hates each other. There's a fucking egg. There's, there's, this world is so fucked that we just need to restart. If that means we have to kill everybody, then fine. You can be simple-minded and you can die simple-minded. The thing is, is we did realize through all of the testing that we've done that your limbo changes based on how you die. And the thing is, is we've tested by murder. We've tested by self-sacrifice. But what we haven't tested is somebody dying a hero. So why are you here? You're here to be test subject dummies one and two. One of you is going to die. One of you is going to live. It's your choice. You can talk about it. You can decide. You can make a decision. And then after, the other person can leave and go try and warn all the others and prepare for the, the doom that's going to happen. But it doesn't matter because Punz and I have already made the arrangements and everyone's going to die anyway. You are Essentially, disgusting. Do you see that pressure plate on the floor? That pressure plate opens up a hole in the floor where you can escape. Me and Punz are going to leave. Then we'll come back. And if you're still here, we'll kill you both. I mean, I guess genuinely both of you. Thank you for being a part of this experiment. You can't do this. You can't leave us here. Discuss amongst yourselves. It's over. There's no more Tommy and Tubbo versus Dream. There's no more Dream versus Tommy and Tubbo. There's no more Tommy and Tubbo. Enjoy your last few moments. Um, Puns and I will enjoy our grilled cheese sandwiches. This was the end of the line. The end of their friendship. The end of Tommy and Tubbo. Tubbo begged Tommy to let him be the one to jump, but Tommy refused. They stared at the pressure plate, their only way out of this twisted place, with a hint of sadness, knowing only one of them would see the outside world again. But Tommy noticed something interesting. The pressure plate was wooden, meaning it could not only be activated by people, but items. As far as Dream knew, they had taken everything. But Tommy had decided to keep his discs. Meaning if he could throw one of them onto the pressure plate, neither of them would have to jump, and they could both get out alive. This was truly their last chance. For the past three years, Tommy had put the discs above people. But finally, he had changed. Learned that nothing is more important than his friends, and that risking the discs, even for a chance at saving Tubbo, was a risk he had to take. Tommy took a deep breath. If he missed the plate with both discs, one of them would have to die. And so, he lined up, and threw Melohai over the edge. The disc glided through the air, flying directly over the pressure plate, and burning in the lava. It was gone and he only had one shot left. He took a deep breath once again and threw the disc. Their fate hung in the air as it glided towards the lava and all they could do was watch. He got it right away. An escape opened from behind them as lava poured down from above. Quickly, Tommy and Tubbo jumped from the platform barely making it to the water before the descending wall of lava consumed the platform behind them. Right away, the two rushed through the tunnel, escaping out the side of the prison and swimming to the surface. Tommy took one last look at the prison. The discs were gone, this time for good. Now he truly had nothing left. Nothing but Tubbo, his friend, threw it all. But that's all he needed. The two made their way down Prime Path. It was only a matter of time before Dream and Puns found out they escaped and fast-tracked their plan to kill the entire server. There was no hope for them. Dream and Puns' power was far beyond that of the rest of the server. And with Techno and Wilbur gone, their chances were looking slim. Killing Dreamer Puns was difficult enough, but the only way to truly win was to kill both of them at the exact same time 
so they couldn't be revived. They may as well be gods. The two made their way to Snowchester, as Tubbo had one last project to show Tommy before the end. A project from long ago, left untouched for nearly a year. Tommy agreed to follow him, but saw no possible way the rest of the server could win. Any day now, Doomsday would come once again. And with Dream and Punza's power, there was nothing anyone could do to stop it. And yet, in the face of near certain death, Tubbo's unrelenting optimism got the best of him once again. He led Tommy to the edge of the city, and looking to the sea, Tommy couldn't help but notice a long path leading to what looked like a large hole in the middle of the ocean. Tubbo explained that this was what he wanted to show him. The two ventured down the fateful path, Tommy hoping that whatever lie at the end could save them. Upon reaching the strange structure, Tubbo directed Tommy down a small ladder on the outside ring. What he found on the inside was a large silo, extending deep into the earth below. And at the center, towering from the heart of the room, stood what looked like some sort of rocket. Tubbo explained that this was Project Early Dawn, a sort of security measure intended to ensure the safety of Snowchester in the face of imminent danger. And what stood at the center was a fully active nuclear bomb, capable of wiping any structure off the face of the earth with one flick of a lever. This was it, beautiful yet deadly, their last hope to save the server. Quickly, a plan began to form in Tommy's head. If one of them could make sure that Dream and Puns were in the exact same place, the other could prepare and launch the nuke to that specific location, incinerating both of them at the exact same moment, leaving no chance for Dream or Puns to escape. Tubbo agreed with the plan and volunteered to be the distraction. But once again, Tommy couldn't let him. Tubbo was the last person Tommy had on this server, and if it meant giving his life to make sure Tubbo could live free, that was a sacrifice he was willing to make. Tubbo felt his heart sink. There had to be another way. Every other time they'd been in this situation, they'd found another way. He couldn't lose his best friend again. But as always, this time was different. Every other plan had failed because they weren't certain. And deep down, they both knew that of the millions of things they could do, this was the only way to make sure they won. Tubbo agreed to prepare the nuke for a launch the next day. The two made their way out of the bunker and took one last look around. One last look at the beauty of their world, a world that had been their home for the past three years, a final calm before the storm. They traveled to Prime Path, remembering the good old days. They looked at Lamanberg, the flag still waving in the crater as a reminder of the dream it once stood for. And finally, they made their way back to the bench, the very same place they'd gone to celebrate their past victories. And as the sun set, they remembered the battles the losses, the ups, the downs, their friendship. Tommy made Tubbo promise to never stop telling their stories, to never let what they did be forgotten. Tubbo agreed, promising to make a better world than the one they'd lived in, to finally let the server be free. And so, the two went their separate ways, ready to save the server one last time. Today was the day. The nuke was primed for launch, and Tommy was ready to enter the prison for the last time. The two met once again by the bench outside Tommy's house, preparing for the true end. Everything they'd done together, the adventures, the sacrifices, the dreams, all they wanted was to be free. 
But in a cruel twist of fate, this moment, the most free they'd felt their whole lives, would be the last moment they shared together. And so they stared, one last time, at their best friend. We did it, Tubbo! We won a war! I, I couldn't have done it without you, Tubbo. His favorite thing in the whole <laughs> wide world is Tubbo! He could destroy our base. It doesn't matter. It's blocks. But he can't destroy our union. Every war on this server, the conflict was started with me and you. And you know what, Tubbo? It's going to end with me and you. Tubbo, when I'm gone, I want you to tell everyone about what me and you did. About the wars we had, about the discs, about our festival, about the Manberg, the ends of the earth. To the ends of the earth? What am I without you? Yourself? Goodbye, Dream SMP. Let's go straight to the prison room where we had our fight and work our way back from there. Jeez, this is where we had the fight. This is when they got us in here. Oh, it's Jack! Oh, wait. That's Stephanie Jack over there. Die, like, dream. I want to come to die for the 10th oh. time. Tommy, what are you I'll doing? I'll kill the both of you right now, right? What the hell are you doing here, man? You're not going to know about this place. What the hell? I'm going to ask you the same question. What is this? What do you mean, what is this? You see this, Dream? Never <laughs> act. It'll cancel you out your shield. <laughs> ha! Ha! Why are you here? I've got gaps, Dream. A whole stack. You don't understand the gravity of what's going on. You haven't. Tom has gone to the prison to lure Dream and puns in there so we can evaporate all of them with this weapon so they don't have a chance to revive themselves. Oh, now, puns, I bet you didn't know this about Dream. Dream, let me tell you something about Dream puns. All right? No, stay. Let me tell you something. Did you know that Dream rigged this entire server against me? But you're telling me that if if you launch this thing, Tommy's gonna die? There's no other option, man. They're gonna kill everyone otherwise. They literally plan on killing everyone and using them as lab rats. You know what, I've got a question for you. A question that's been on my mind for a long time. Why'd you take those discs? Oh, I don't even want to go down here, man. No, you have to, because that's where the- you, Don't, you don't now. hit me. Time after time, why did you dedicate so much of your life? You could have done anything. You could have had a family. You could have built your own nation and played it fair. We could have had democracy. God damn it. I thought I'd never have to use this place. I don't know any better, Tomo. I would, I, I would say you're out to get me. I'm out to get you. When I die, it hurts. It Tommy, destroys me. It is nothing. Think about that. I'm out to get you. But I didn't invite you here and you randomly showed up. You know what I'd like to hear? Explain this whole server from your point of view, Dream. Well, the first thing you do is enable the thrusters. Say! Bro! I can do this myself! There is so much more. Come on, Tubbo, faster, Tubbo. Fine! Awesome. Fine! I'm having it! God, shut up! What if you could live forever? What if you and Tubbo could live forever? Tom is literally on the there server, right Tom. now. Tr there are greater things on the server than Tommy Tubbo. You can't spend your life trying to solve the unsolvable problems, and that's what you've done, man. Why is it unsolvable? I can do this. It's just literally just a lever. And it's for, True. it's literally for the good of everything. You, we could have been friends, man. We could have, think about that. We could have been friends. Everyone will die. Everyone is dying. What kind of selfish person would I be? You ruined it. You could have let us have a nation dream. Tell me everything was fine before you came. It's going to be fine. All I need to do is hold this lever down for three seconds. Oh, congrats. Hang on. Oh, you're dead. All right, go.
Wait, okay. Hello, did you? It's gone. Hello, I wait. sent it. I did it. I did it. It's gone. Hello. It's gone. Wait, I launched wait, 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 it. Wait, 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 Tomo. What? Where did you say Tommy was? Tommy's in the prison. Tomo, this nuke isn't going to the prison. What do you mean? No, it is. I literally programmed it to go there. There's only one place this. Yeah, and then I played around and I, I sent it to his base. I sent it to Tommy's. What do you mean you played there. around? What is this? Oh, what have you done? It's not stable. You can't change it. That's going to destroy everything. This is an ICBM. It goes up, it splits, and it moves, okay? It's not just one explosive capsule. It's split into eight. How many of them did you change? Did you change just one? Did you change your nine? I, I, I just... I just... If one of them hits right. too early, it will change the directory of the other capsules and send them everywhere and destroy everything. I thought I was doing the right thing. Jack, this. you have single-handedly doomed everything on this server. Everything we helped out dearly. That. I didn't want that. I just wanted everyone to be friends again. Wait. Every time Tommy is alive, whenever he's alive, he's fighting with Dream. And whenever he's fighting with Dream, you and me and everyone else loses things. We get dragged into battles that no one wants, and I'm tired of it, and I just wanted my friend back. Tubbo, you were the first person I spoke to on the server. The first thing I ever received was this, and I still have it to this day. I lost everything, Jack. but I made sure I kept this. Wait, Jack. You've messed with it. What? You messed with... It's probably not even going to hit the prison. Wait, Jack! we got to get there and help him! What? Let's, we gotta get to the prison. What are you doing? Come on. Hi, I'm joining the server. Oh my god. I'm, on. I'm so laggy. I'm, I'm here. On. I'm so laggy. He's I'm here. Mute my stupid stream. Oops. Fastest um, off. Biome blend is like when there's a new oh, biome, it like very blends beginning. the colors and blocks between. Uh, I don't know. And like blends the so the I should have it the all the way at the bottom then if I want like best performance. Yes. Okay. Can I put your max frame rate on like 160 Happy. instead of unlimited? Um. Please bring me back. No, it feels worse. I don't want to be alone. No. <laughs> I'm dead, Wait, George. I've I have one viewer. All right, tweet it out. Go back. I'm not gonna tweet it out. The notification. I'm will tweeting go out it out. In a minute. I'm tweeting it out. You're tweeting. It out. Oh! And... <laughs> no, you're back. Oh, congrats, like nothing. The never ending cycle. He sent me to limbo. What'd you see? What'd you see? I think I get it. I know what I saw, Dream. It was before I was there. It was before you met me. Before all this prison, before I drove you insane. Before you drove me insane, before we did this to each other. You were happy. In, in limbo? Yeah, I saw it. It was a vision. It were... you were happy. It was simple. You didn't have a bad thought in your mind. Just you and your friends, and nothing else. No war. It wasn't cramped. It wasn't no nations. No, you weren't evil. That's why you're doing this, isn't it? You just want it to be simple. <laughs> Dream. I thought you were complicated. I thought. God, I thought you were a villain, Dream. I thought you were... Look at this. Every time I could, I could have a piece together. Why? Oh, I have, because I, I am, Tommy. I've tortured you. I want everyone to be able to live and be happy and together. And you, you've ruined that. You've ruined that yourself. You're the one who separates everyone. You just wanted it to be simple. You wanted to be back with your friends. That makes sense. I see you, you, you're on my side. I'm saying I think I understand you. And I don't, I don't think we've ever had a moment since I joined of being on the same side, the same page. But Dream, that's okay. But this, the, your way of doing this, of, of having to kill everyone else, that's not right. But this, Dream, this, what you have inside you, you just want friends. Oh, me too, man. I get that. I don't know, why are you, why are you trying to ruin everything all the time because that was just me having fun in my friend's stream but i didn't i didn't i just didn't know how much that hurt you can you call this off can you just promise me you're gonna stop trying to kill everyone but you know that first day those moments you can have that and we'll all grow old together that's enough i don't i don't know if it is enough why not i don't want to 
ever be alone. Take off your helmet, let me look at you. Tommy. Yeah? Why can't it just be simple again? Why can't it just be like that forever? We can live forever and we can, everyone can be you know, friends and... I'm with you, man. Is it not too late? We can work together oh, no. and we can figure out. Oh, you hear that, right? What is that? Jack, the, the nukes, the nukes coming. What? Jack, what? What? the alarm's what? going what? off. It's too late, Drew. Tommy, what is that? Tommy. Tommy, what did you do? Jack! Jack, there's nothing we can do! Jack, there's actually nothing we can do! Tommy! I'm sorry. You're sorry for what? You're sorry for what, Tommy? We Jack. either run or we carry on pushing forwards. <laughs> Jack, sit down. With... What? Jack, there's nothing we can do. It's too late. It's the whole prison. Growth, friendship, and ruin. Across the life of the Dream SMP, these three truths have shaped the story into one of the most treasured in Minecraft history. Spanning three years and creating one of the most compelling stories in Minecraft, the story has evolved well past that ever thought to come from a Minecraft server. A story capturing the minds and hearts of millions. A story finally coming to an end. A lot has happened in the last three years. Some good, some bad, some happy, some sad. But one thing that will never be forgotten is the impact this server had on so many people. For this isn't really the end, but rather a new beginning, an opportunity to break free from the past, an opportunity to change. And as they all lived their final moments, Jack, Tubbo, Tommy, Puns, and Dream took one last look around at each other before the end of the world. Thank you.